Hi, my name is Nick Redden, Vice President for ATC. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about RPA and the solo paradox. A lot of you probably have no idea what the solo paradox is, and it sounds like something from the Big Bang Theory, but be assured, I am no Sheldon. But I do understand what the solo paradox is. The Solo Paradox was written by Robert Solo back in 1987 as an economist with MIT, and he won the Nobel Prize for this theory. And this theory, which was proven, was this. The more money that was being spent on technology and implemented in companies did not add any value in production. In fact, productivity continued to fall. Now, this was back in the 80s. Then came the 90s, and we did have resurgence in productivity. And that lasted till about five, six, seven years ago, when that level of productivity started to wane once again. While spending in IT continues to rise, productivity is now again continuing to fall. There's a lot of reasons around it, but most of it comes down to companies are not taking advantage of the technology that they're implementing. And so the solo paradox is still alive and well. Everyone has written about this, from McKinsey, to the Harvard Business Review, to MIT, to Gartner, you name it, they're writing about it because nothing has changed. And productivity that falls in companies on a whole basis means productivity is also falling for our country, which affects our GDP and affects the ability for our country to continue to grow and be more productive, push out more volume, and make more money for our entire country, which then gives increase to wages and allows jobs and companies in the U.S. to flourish more. So what do we do to deal with this? How do we make sure that the technology that we're implementing is going to give us the gains and give us the efficiencies that we want? Well, that's where RPA comes in. RPA is a proven technology that takes over mundane, repetitive processes, automates them 100% with 100% efficiency, 100% audible, 100% secure, and runs 24-7, 365 days a year, seven days a week. No other technology is going to do that for you. We have a proliferation of SaaS-based platforms all over the place. They're not connected. They're not doing what, it, what needs to be done in order to make a company more efficient. They're just answering one particular problem within an organization. And maybe that problem is around security. Maybe that problem is around customer service. Maybe that problem is around logistics, supply chain, what, whatever it may be. But they're not tied in, they're not being integrated, and they're not being taken advantage of. And that's what statistics are continuing to show. Again, this is where RPA can come in and tie a lot of these things together and drive the efficiency that you're missing and give you the gains, give you the productivity, and give you the revenue that you're looking for from your investments in IT. Talk to me about it. I would love to speak more with you about it. I would love to show you, demo for you, how this can change your company, your organization, and really help you make a digital transformation that you're looking for and a digital transformation that's needed going into the future.